second grade, what do you think, girls or boys? Whose car goes farther? Girls. girls. Fourth grade, fifth grade, tie. Seventh grade, whose cars go farther? Girls. Boys, by about 20%. Why is that? All girls in fifth grade know, well, in second grade, the boys were so clueless they couldn't follow instructions. <laughs> And then they sit there for a while and they go, oh, wait a minute, you mean all that not following instructions let them be better than us? That's wrong. So all across Connecticut, 100 schools, we never found a seventh grade until one, where the seventh grade girls just obliterated seventh grade boys. We went, whoa, how'd you do this? And the teachers went, oh, we didn't even know we did it. Soccer. I went, what do you mean soccer? Our girls are aggressive, they run hard, they kick hard. No, tell me more about yourself. Oh, I'm ordinary except for my tattoos, and I'm certain that the students have never seen my tattoos. I'm ordinary except for my motorcycle, and I only rode it to school that one time. I'm ordinary except I just got back from Hong Kong where I was judging the world finals in African violets. And then you go, whoa, who hired you? And it turns out that in New Canaan, Connecticut, 10 years before, there had been a person hiring um, teachers who liked bold, independent women. And it's amazing how transformative education can be if you have women who see things differently, your students see things differently.